Hi there, it's Julie Kinnear of the Julie Kinnear team with Keller Williams Neighborhood Realty and once again I'm gushing about 17 Langmuir Crescent. I'm here on the second level and uh, after hopefully you saw the, the, the main floor video there's just so much to talk about. I mean there's so many uh, extraordinary designer finishes and so much you know so well thought out. But one of the exciting things, who knew, is the mechanics. It's been so well done uh, and you'll see here on the second floor that there's actually two zones. So there's two air conditioners, two forced air gas furnaces, which means that you're super comfortable. You know, you don't have that problem of, oh, it's too hot here or it's too cold here or whatever. Uh, that's a really exceptional HVAC upgrade. There's things like uh, built-in um, generator. There's things like the backflow valve. There's things like, there's so many, it just goes on and on. You know, all the heated floors and the bathrooms and the mudroom and the, the whole basement with in-floor radiant heat. Um, it's just extraordinary. And, you know, outside you've got the irrigation system, the sprinkler system. You've got upgraded windows, upgraded skylights, uh, really beautiful custom built-ins and stuff. Uh, but mechanically speaking, it was done, like completely done, drains, floors, walls, electrical, plumbing, every single thing. So check it out, uh, you know, and, and as I say, nice sort of touches you'll see. Like for example, in uh, the closets, there are light, there's lighting. Here you can see they use uh, tempered glass railings instead of pickets. So, you know, all these different things. One of the huge pluses, I don't know if you can tell, this is 13 and a half feet foot ceiling height. So it's quite extraordinary. There's four bedrooms up here and one in the basement. So plenty of space for family life, guests, in-laws, all that kind of stuff. And this particular bedroom has such a pretty view. Can you see it out there of the street and, uh, and the neighborhood? And it's just a gorgeous neighborhood to sort of wake up to every day. And, uh, and as I was saying, the lighting even in the closets, automatic goes on and off. How great is that? Again, custom built-ins inside, you know, solid doors. There's nest, uh, you know, for smart heating and cooling and all that kind of stuff. Again, these big cathedral ceilings. So all of the bedrooms feature these huge cathedral ceilings and it really lifts your spirit. I don't know if you feel that way about houses, but I certainly do is that, you know, when you're feeling a home and you're feeling the good energy from it, cer certainly because they, you know, did maximize all the, the light they've even put a skylight up here and uh, you know that's sort of southwest facing so you get lots of all day long um, so here we are in one of the four bathrooms again cathedral ceilinged again skylights really high finishes really modern aesthetic very very um, very touching and nice mm, yummy heated floors so this is bedroom number four I passed by this really quickly, but there's the central vac. So there's central vac through the house as well. There's Cat 5e wiring through the house. You know, all these sort of like extras. Even this bedroom has nice closet space and all that kind of stuff. And sorry, I wasn't showing you that. And uh, you know, there's window coverings, custom window coverings virtually on all the windows, almost everything. Um, and we enter the master suite. Of course, this is all important. We don't call it master anymore. It's called primary bedroom and uh, nice walk-in closet, huge amount of space for all your your needs here. And actually hidden behind here is one of those two HVAC systems, as I was saying. So there's the, oh, there you go. I mean, it's got a, I, I'll go through more in the basement, uh, but uh, there's more to see. Anyway, and of course here we are in the master and I shouldn't call it master. We just called it, we just moved it over to primary. So here we are. And look at this picture window. Is this not unbelievable? It's so happy. It feels good. And these gorgeous floors run through, you know, consistently through the house. And of course, this master bathroom is, is one of the um, highlights. And uh, you've got a nice double vanity. Again, really clean lines, really modern. I like the choice of tile here. I like the choice of, um, you know, vanities and all that kind of stuff. You can see there's three different, um, you know, sprays or body spray, rain, shower, tempered heat. And uh, this is like a frosted glass door. And we like that as well. It's a little neat water closet idea. I thought that was really cool. And I'm gonna show you the basement next, the lower level that also has been excavated. So there's lots and lots to see still. So. And I'm just gonna sneak you down into the lower level of 17 Langmuir Crescent now. And I'm sort of starting at the top just so you get a full view of the whole thing. And again, lots of natural light, windows everywhere, and you can see the beautiful 
tall ceilings on the second floor. And one of the nice things, you know, again, upgrades everywhere. There's LED lighting as you go sort of down the stairs. And as uh, my clients have said, how convenient it is to have that, uh, you know, lighting for kids, um, you know, to have sort of a night light built in. This is the side entrance. So this is a really nicely done too. So you don't have to go through the front door. Uh, and you saw this earlier in the other one, but this is uh, very smartly done uh, for numerous reasons. One is there's a direct access right downstairs. So, you know, if you've got, um, oh, so I'll, hold on, I'll show you this first. Here we are in the powder room. So this is the main floor powder room. Again, really good location. So it's hidden away here. If you're entertaining or what have you, it's really convenient to um, have it sort of tucked away and not near any of the primary rooms. And what I was saying about this basement side entrance is, you know, if you've got teenagers, if you've got in-law suite, you've got a nanny suite or guests or what have you, you know, it's sort of nice to have that, um, you know, they can sneak in if they wanted to or even moving furniture, I'm just going to tell you. So here we are in the rec room, uh, play room, family room. You know, imagine watching a big movie here. Very cool, very comfortable. So they excavated this whole basement when they did the rebuild. And these are eight foot ceilings. And again, storage throughout. It's really smart. Can't tell you how nice it is to have all this storage. See, it goes all the way back there. And yeah, you can hide your, hi your hockey equipment back there. And, um, and you know, all these custom built-ins, you know, TV for the TV console and all that kind of stuff very uh, professionally done. So that's a wet bar that you're seeing right there. So it's got wet bar with a wine fridge. Uh, so that's sort of convenient if you wanted to have a little kitchenette even. Um, and lots of windows again. And uh, even this area works well for, hey, another office or your Peloton, of course. And, you know, more storage. It's smart with uh, finished basements. Sometimes you don't get storage and stuff. And these videos get to show you all of the goodies, all of them. Uh, and the basement goes on and on. So they benched it and I like how they did that. Uh, safely done here and it gives you lots of options as far as useful space there. This is again, another, the other furnace sort of room here. And that's the central vac. That's the NTI uh, boiler system. So the boiler actually not only is sort of on demand for the house, it also heats this floor. So the whole basement, again, has cement floors underneath, but they're warm and cozy because they heated, it's all in-floor radiant heat. Nice, nicely done. And here's a beautiful bathroom, bathroom number four. I hope you're getting all of this. Again, quality even down here, tempered glass uh, door there, and extra lighting, fans, all that kind of good stuff. And once again, the closet lighting upgrade. There you go. So, so again, I, it's it's a really special home. I hope you come and get a chance to see it. And here we are in the laundry room and all the power coming into the house. Very exciting. And uh, I like this huge folding area storage. Really well done. So just a quick quick recap about where we are. We're a hop, skip, and a jump uh, from Bloor Street West. The Old Mill Subway Station, Old Mill Inn as well. So you've got two subways right there, Jane or uh, Old Mill. Easy walk to both, actually. You've got Blur West Village shops and restaurants and coffee shops. And, and right now, of course, takeout in all those restaurants and, um, and all sorts of independent shops. Lots of character and charm in the village and was voted one of the best neighborhoods to live in in Toronto. And of course, you got the Humber River. You got the parks and trail systems. You can easily go down South Kingsway and onto the highways. It's a really superb location, uh, really friendly, inclusive neighborhood. And uh, come and check it out.